The book called The Necromancy of Thay can be found in the Alchemist's secret workshop at Blighted Village. Speak your name. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then... An impressive set of bones. Pity to see it abandoned. visitors. with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing, amethyst eyes draw you in. You feel the darkness radiating from the book. It's delicious. A cursed book! How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. If you decide to destroy this magical tome with a will of its own, you can drop it on the ground and then you just need to hit it with radiant damage. For example, Shadow Heart's Guiding Bolt Spell. Just keep in mind that the book will summon some shadow enemies in the process, so make sure you're ready for a fight.
Let's go. Heading out. However, if you want to read it, you'll need the Dark Amethyst to open the book. This gem can be found at Whispering Depths in the Phase Spider Matriarch's lair. I wonder what's hiding down in all that stuff. When you read it, you'll need to successively pass a few wisdom saving throws in order to unlock its secrets. After passing enough saving throws, you'll discover all you can from the book and it will slam shut. The knowledge you gain will give you a bonus to wisdom checks and saving throws, and the ability to cast Speak with Dead once per long rest, allowing you to have it permanently active.
irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Understand. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Pull at you, dragging you closer. Glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. If you want to learn more from the book, you'll have to wait until you reach Elminster's Vault in Act 3 and discover another book called Tharkiadi Vigor. Overcoming the curse on Tharkiadi Vigor will allow you to read the rest of the Necromancy of Thay, unlocking the ability to resurrect ghouls after each short rest. eyes safely across the page. The once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar. Promising unholy power to those who can take it. Dangerously familiar. Promising unholy power. As you pass the strange glyphs, you can feel the book resisting. Ghostly voices whisper at you from the dark, probing and fighting your mind. But your will is iron, and you brush past these shades of the past, devouring every secret the book has to offer. You see now life and death are malleable as clay, to be bent and reshaped by your will, by your power. But as you close the book, a nagging doubt whispers in your mind. What consequences will there be? for calling the dead from their rest. <laughs> 